so now we're dealing with the nature of your unformed form now obviously um the duality of man um has many different definitions but uh for the purpose of this talk uh the duality of man um will refer to the formed aspect of man and the unformed aspect of man the real aspect and the imagined aspect yeah is a complex <laughs> man is a complex number now your gray matter your brain yeah that's in gray <clears throat> that is your physical form this is not a form that uh, um, you got from nowhere yeah it was there before your resonance form your resonant form when you was an embryo you actually had to become your brain had to be built first before consciousness could uh, resonate from it this precedes you uh, so basically it, it's something that yourself yeah which is the resonance these are just resonance it's like wave particles yeah resonance coming out right um these particles yeah they, they, it's like a just imagine like a wave on a sea where that sea is a three-dimensional gray matter <laughs> and these are just waves going through it that's what you are yeah <laughs> so, <laughs> so um your gray matter yeah is the the formed part of you yeah and yourself this resonance deduces it this resonance is just a a detector anything that touches it um it deduces it that, that that's, that's how you deduce things you never actually see yourself because yourself is a resonance you can't see resonance yeah you can't see resonance you can't they're not waves that are actually physically there yeah so you can't see yourself but you can deduce yeah what information yeah pertains to yourself like when you pinch yourself and you feel pain you deduce that where i pinched yeah must be part of me you never actually seen me yeah i have never seen me but i can deduce what is me without actually seeing me <laughs> yeah so when i when i hit myself um uh, when I hit my toe on a on a radiator, I can deduce that the toe is part of me, but but I can't see myself. You just deduce what must be you, but you can't without actually seeing you. Yeah, you just deduce what is you. Yeah, and your grey matter is like a CD. Yeah, and you just information on it. Yeah, your grey matter is the one that uh, is responsible. For this resonance this resonate is, is like a fingerprint the self everyone is different this resonance depends on what your gray matter is made from yeah what your gray matter is made from that's what will determine the nature of this resonance now from my previous talk i told you what your gray matter is made of yeah this resonance here yeah is brought about by the life force in your DNA the life force like I've mentioned before in my previous talks the life force comes from the man your sperm is always moving in an erratic random and resonating way if you look at its tail it's resonating it's forming a wave actually yeah and the, the, the male the, the female ovum the egg doesn't do this so the life force comes from the male the, the moving life force comes from the male and when you're formed this is the same force yeah that resonates in you if if uh, and obviously uh, the egg has a vibration as well but it doesn't have vibration that that can make it move so the ancestors in uh, the DNA of the egg and the ancestors in the DNA of the sperm, the, the specific sperm that becomes you, 
uh, and the composite life force that is you yeah so your gray matter is resonating with a life force yeah uh, that is composed of all your ancestral DNA yeah and as it's resonating that resonance that is you okay and anything that's similar uh, to the natural frequency of your resonance yeah will be something that you're more likely to detect now nature resonates yeah um, everything in nature vibrates molecules resonate you can never me measure a molecule twice and find it the same shape <laughs> because the quarks that okay an atom the quarks that make up an atom are always moving yeah they can be sticking out one way yeah when you measure it measure it again they'll be sticking out another way <laughs> yeah they're always changing so an atom never remains the same shape the shape is always changing in such a way that it's resonating because there's only three dimensions yeah it must come back to the same position at some point in time so it's resonating so anything that resonates yeah uh, anything that's composed of what your gray matter is composed of you will be able to detect yeah now if something is composed of um, matter that is resonating at different frequencies yeah from the matter that we can see you will not be able to detect that <laughs> yeah uh, but only things you can detect so we're all made of the same matter so we can all detect the world the same way yeah but your unformed form is a resonance now what when, when it comes to resonance resonance can be transferred yeah if you look at Schumann resonance <laughs> yeah this is resonance the Schumann resonance actually the resonance itself moves across the planet not the frequency the resonance moves across the planet where you can see um, it's like where um, the Schumann resonance to me sounds like something like this is happening where you have a resonance here yeah then it moves over there across the surface of the earth across the surface of the earth and so forth yeah um, so resonance can move once it's formed it can become independent of what's forming it and move across that's how people astral project out of their minds yeah um, so basically that's what I wanted to add yeah um, the nature of your form self you never actually see yourself because yourself is not something that exists it's just resonance that you can't see no one can see human res resonance yeah um, you can detect it so then you say to, to yourself is your uh, self can yourself be detected it's not just an electromagnetic resonance you're not an electromagnetic resonance your combination of so many different forces that are resonating even gravitational resonance yeah yeah there's, there's there's so many different ways of describing it because we're looking at microgravity when you're looking at the topology of the gray matter and which means if the gray matter is vibrating then the the structure um of the gravitational field ar around your gray matter is also fluctuating <laughs> yeah so we're talking about resonance in the in the gravitational field electromagnetic field and all kinds of fields yeah um, so obviously we don't want to reveal too much but just let, to let you know that you never see yourself because yourself is unformed yeah you deduce what pertains to yourself you deduce what constitutes yourself yeah but you never actually see yourself so when you talk about self-awareness doesn't exist no such thing as self-awareness okay because the self cannot be cannot be a, you can't be aware of the self you can be aware of what yourself is made from yeah but you can never be aware of yourself because it's just resonance it doesn't exist okay that's it